Before we pray this morning, I'm going to light our compassion candle. I'm going to light it for all of those who have been impacted by the destruction of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm also lighting it in remembrance of those who lost their lives in the shootings in Nova Scotia this past week. Let's join our hearts in prayer. Lord, for each of us, we have a race that is set out before us. And God, we look to you to guide our feet down that path. We know that sometimes it will lead through dark valleys, but we know that you are there with us, beside us, guiding us. Help us, Lord, to run this race with gratitude and with love, to not yield to the wall of fear that sometimes we'll hit when we're going through tough times, to be undaunted by the hill of scarcity that may make us withdraw. Lord, so many of us have been in captivity not only during these past few weeks because of this pandemic, but in our private lives because of fear, fear of our past, fear of the future. God, bring us out of that captivity together and give us joyful hearts and celebration and help us that we would draw closer to you because of all of this. Lord, for Michelle and for Bishop Karen Olivito, I pray that you would give them guidance and grace and wisdom and strength. And for the leaders of our country, Lord, I pray for compassion and wisdom. Prepare all of us for a mighty celebration when this is over, God. Prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, and prepare our world for great change, for we know that you are all powerful and that so much good can come out of so much bad. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus, who taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you.